uh, dissection of the day. This was a uh, a big transistor that I showed on my channel. I'll put a link down below. It's a 145 amp transistor. <laughs> yes, indeed. Um, and I thought I really don't need a 145 amp transistor, so why not take it apart? I think one of the nice things I can do on this channel is to show the insides of things and um, a lot of times that isn't possible, even if you work for a company, you know, these things are expensive. So it's very rare that you get to tear down uh, things and get to see inside them. I've always wanted to see inside of one of these things. So let's, let's go ahead and uh, get this thing opened up. There's some interesting little screws on the bottom. I, I guess that holds on that plastic piece. I thought it was kind of molded on there, but maybe it's not. A little persuasion might be necessary. <laughs> Assuming this thing might be epoxied on or something, I'm just seeing if I can crack off the uh, crack the um, crack the glue loose. Yeah, I think it looked like these tabs were bent over after it was assembled. Uh, looks like there's a chink in the armor there, so let's uh, let's see if we can get that top off. Uh oh, looks like it's potted inside. That's never a good thing. Those are all, a lot of times impossible to uh, try to get to get that to encapsulant out of there. You know, you could heat. I, I've tried heating it up and other things. Or I'm I'm I don't like chemicals and try to do solvents and things. So. Oh, well, maybe it's just soft. That would be good. It's gooey. <laughs> it's gooey, not the black stuff. There's a clear layer underneath the black stuff. So this, it was first encapsulated with a clear goo, and then that black rtv or whatever was put on top of that so yeah this is gonna be messy this is gonna be messy well we can see it has four transistors very, very large transistors. That's a lot of silicon. So there's four transistors and a few um, 100 ohm resistors that are basically probably a gate, gate resistors. And I'm seeing if I can remove this clear goo and it's sticky and messy and it's going to take a long time. I'm going to try to use this plastic spudger tool here to try to scrape some of that off. Ooh, 
Well, it cleaned up reasonably well. There's still a whole bunch left behind. It's just super hard to get. It's just stuck in between the bond wires and everything. But we get a good clear view of what's going on here now. Uh, we can see the the four big hex, hex these are hex fets as well uh and uh yeah we've got four of those there's a huge there's four big bond wires that connect the left half to the right half that's kind of interesting um but yep and those are like little ceramic boards um glued on top of uh, a big slab of copper. All right, here's a close review. We can see what's going on. I think those are the fattest bond wires I've seen. <laughs> That's a lot of amps. You can see that one bare wire there that's go, that goes over to the gate, right? So there's a one wire that that heads to heads to those hundred ohm resistors that then go to the gates. And now that we're in close, I think you can see it's also uh, there's a pattern or a texture to the top of the uh, top of the FETs, which are hex fed, uh, hex -fed uh, uh, devices. I've done a video on that before.